Hey guys, this is Andre, the Andre Lifestyle. This is a lifestyle channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. Hey guys, this is Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about which boot camp is the hardest. And this is based on uh, my own opinions and the I know that there are other military boot camps around the world that may be more difficult than the ones that I'm talking about today today I'm just focusing on the US military okay so it's between the Army the Coast Guard the Navy the Air Force and the Marines again disclaimer this is all based on my own opinions and my own personal experiences and the experiences of friends that I have that are in those other branches um, and also the physical and mental demands that differ from each military branches boot camp okay so first off I'm gonna start with um, back when I was 18 years old when I was first joining the military and I was I remember I was really into sports I was really athletic I played soccer my whole entire life um, I was just into working out um, did a lot of cardio and so the military branches that appealed to me the most at that time were the Marines and the Army um, and at that time I assumed that the Army that the Marines was the toughest and that's the one that I wanted to go to now when I say I assumed that the Marines was the toughest I'm not saying it's not I'm not saying it's not tough at all um, what I'm saying is um, that that was my thought process at that time it you gotta wait till the end of the video to know what my thought process is now about that mili uh, about the Marines and about all the all the military branches but yeah that's what I thought and um, I remember I was gonna choose the Marines and the only reason I didn't choose the Marines is because when I went to the recruiting office that day the Marine recruiting office door was closed and so I just went across the hall to the Army recruiting office and the rest is history. Um, so at that time when I was 18, the order of when I was first considering joining the military, uh, which, which one, which one uh, I thought was the most difficult, so this is the order uh, at that time, it was Marines, Marines was first, then Army, then Navy, and then it was a tie between the Air Force and the Coast Guard. Okay, um, today it is a different list. Maybe not entirely, but it is. It is. Uh, it's different. Okay. Um, so, as of right now, in my opinion, physically the most demanding branches are definitely the Marines and the Army, um, and I think the Marines even tops tops over all the branches including the army just because of their PT test they I think they had to do a three mile run instead of a two mile run like the army um, and they have to do a bunch of other crazy exercises and, and tests and physical physically demanding tests um, so I think the marine marines wins uh, on physicalness on difficulty of physicalness at boot camp and then a close second is the army. The mentally most demanding is definitely the Coast Guard, absolutely. And probably a close second, now I'm not really sure about this, but it, I guess it might be the Air Force. Um, then again, the easiest boot camp, in my opinion, is the Air Force, okay? Um, now, I'm going to reveal the order that I believe is, as of right now, age 24, I, I was in the Army and in the Coast Guard. As of right now, I believe from easiest to hardest, the easiest being the Air Force, followed by the Navy, followed by the Army, followed by the Marines, and then the hardest boot camp, in my opinion, is the United States Coast Guard and I'm not just saying that because I'm being biased or anything like that um, I think the Coast Guard is really overlooked on 
in terms of all the other military branches and I think just recently it's starting to get some recognition um, and rightly so. Uh, I knew nothing about the Coast Guard before I was considering joining the Coast Guard. I did research on it and I liked their message. I, I liked what they, what they stood for and that's why I decided to join the Coast Guard instead of you know, going for the Air Force or the Navy. I know I didn't want to do the Marines after getting my conditional release from the Army. So, yeah, so ask anyone that's been through Coast Guard boot camp, that was tough. And I also, I have a, a few friends that are, were in the Marines and um, that tried to go through boot camp, do the same thing, get a conditional release, or right after their, their contract ended, tried to re-enlist into the Coast Guard, and they didn't make it uh, through Coast Guard boot camp. So the reasons why I think Coast Guard boot camp is the most difficult out of all of the military branches is because, first of all, they implement a way for you, uh, and they implement a way uh, of talking. You have to talk a certain way, and I explained that uh, in my past vlogs. But you have to talk in a certain way whenever you're you're answering questions or whenever whenever you are um, want to ask a question. Um, whenever you're speaking to a company commander. Okay, you have to talk a certain way. Secondly, the required knowledge is ridiculous. Uh, the amount that you need to know and memorize in that short amount of time is unbelievable. I've never had to do something so difficult um, and so stressful. That was really stressful. Um, and I wish I prepared more for it. And that's why I made this YouTube channel to help other Coast Guard people, um, uh, you know, soon to be recruits that are going to be going through boot camp i don't want them to be in the same shoes i was not really you know kind of just like lost you know until and then and then finally realizing oh shit like i i wish i i studied okay and then thirdly the reason why coast guard boot camp in my opinion is the most difficult is because you do get reverted now from my understanding no other military branch does this if like you have to really 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 like mess up several times and then maybe they might put you back a week in the coast guard it, you could make one mistake you know the last day the day of graduation you can make one mistake and go all the way back to week one or go all the way back three weeks it, it's it's all you're at the mercy of the company commanders and so I think that's probably the scariest part. I knew people that were in, in Coast Guard boot camp. You know, Coast Guard boot camp is eight weeks. I knew people that were in there for 16 weeks, okay? Doubling it. And that's just, that's just unheard of in other military branches. The Coast Guard is the smallest military branch. It's very, very selective and it's very unique um, compared to the other military branches. It's not even part of the um, Department of Defense, part of the uh, Department of Homeland Security. So, and you still get all the same benefits and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going on on, on, a, on a rant, but it's, it's, honestly, that's just my opinion. I hope I didn't offend anyone with this video. This is all, you know, this is just, I feel like this is fun, you know? This is a fun topic to talk about. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found this video entertaining. And if you did, please like this video, please comment this video, please share this video, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, live the, oh, one more thing before I, I say my line. Uh, follow me on Instagram at the Andre Lifestyle. Uh, you can email me your questions or if you want to just talk to me, you can email me at the Andre Lifestyle at gmail.com. Also, you can, you can also message me on Instagram. That's the platform I use the most. So my email and Instagram are what I use most often. Okay, and uh, yeah. Okay, this is, uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. As always, live the lifestyle that you want to live. Peace. Hey guys, this is Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about which uh, Fuck. Hey guys, this is Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. This is <sighs> why the fuck. <laughs>